everyone, welcome back to Legendary. I wish every one of you an amazing, successful, and most importantly, a healthy and happy new year. Today I woke up and my body had a real strong craving for chocolates and cookies. Since one of my New Year's resolutions is to get into the best physical shape of my life this year, I decided to bake my own high protein peanut butter cookies at home instead of getting those unhealthy ones from the supermarket. I got this apron as a gift for Christmas so I'm gonna use it. It will only take about 10 to 15 minutes including preparation and baking time. We'll be using only five to six different ingredients today. Peanut butter, a banana, an egg, coconut flour, whey protein, and chocolate chips. In case the dough gets too dry or too thick, you can use some coffee or some milk to thin it out a little bit. I'll be using coffee in mine to make it a little bit of a special recipe. I will copy the recipe in the video description below. And I hope you enjoy the video, try out the cookies, and let me know how the cookies taste to you. Step one, preheat the oven at 180 degrees Celsius. We'll be starting with some peanut butter. We are using some organic coconut flour and we are going to be using two tablespoons. The third ingredient is going to be a pretty ripe banana. Look at all these brown spots. Next up is the main source for protein in these cookies. Whey protein powder. We're going to be using cookies and cream flavor from my protein. Next up, we got a nice large egg. Using a whisk or a spoon or whatever you want, you can just mix it up all together now. It will seem very difficult in the very beginning, but don't worry, just continue to mix. It will all come together eventually. So this dough is quite sticky, I must say. So I was thinking, in order to make this recipe a little more special, I'm going to add some coffee to it. Let's see how that tastes. We're just gonna use a random coffee flavor like creme brulee and just pour it in. I'll continue mixing this up now. I'm very excited if this coffee will actually make it taste the way I want it to. The last ingredient that we're gonna put in is some dark chocolate chips. We're gonna add about two tablespoons in. Let's fold it into the dough. Oh, it smells, it smells really good. <laughs> A lot of people always say that if it gets too dry, you can just add some milk, but I hope the coffee also gets it done. Time to bring this dough onto the baking tray. Now we're gonna put on some of this baking paper onto the tray. I think the dough only is uh, enough for eight cookies and I'm really excited how these will turn out. I hope that uh, I didn't make them too big, but if I did, I will try again, make them a little bit smaller. Time to put the dough into the oven for five to six minutes. In we go. So while I'm waiting for the first batch of cookies to, to be baked, I think I will just make another batch uh, trying out the other protein powder that I have, which is chocolate brownie flavor. Let's see which one tastes better. Again, we'll be throwing in two to three tablespoons of peanut butter, a ripe banana for the natural sweetness, this time some chocolate brownie flavored whey protein powder instead, the organic coconut flour, an egg. Let's try mixing it all up together. and the coffee. If you got kids, maybe you use milk instead of coffee. I would say the mixing time, putting in the ingredients, might take approximately five to 10 minutes. Um, then another five minutes for baking the cookies themselves. So I would say within 15 minutes, you can actually make cookies by yourself and have a good amount of uh, cookies at home. This gives you so much freedom to choose the flavor you want, to try out different flavors. Healthier, more protein and I would say super delicious and tasty as well. Not to forget the dark chocolate chips. A 
Again, some baking paper onto the tray. This time I managed to make one more cookie, which is nine in total. Quickly take out the first batch. Wow, these cookies look really good. And the second batch goes in. Five minutes later we take it out and these also look pretty nice. All right, time for an honest review of the cookies that I made. First, we'll start off with the first batch of cookies and cream protein powder. Well, I must say, with the amount of chocolate chips that I put in, it's really tasty. If you know the flavor of like banana bread, it kind of has a little bit of that taste because of the banana. You can taste the protein for sure. And for me, it's pretty good because I've tasted other protein cookies which are actually much worse than this. And this is actually pretty good, I would say. There's a reason why we're making these cookies because we want them to be a little bit healthier, have more protein. And that's why, of course, these cookies taste a little bit drier. But I have a really simple solution for that. And that is milk. I don't know about you, but I really enjoy my cookies with milk. I feel like banana, chocolate, and milk always go super well together. To sum it up, the first batch is pretty good. It has this banana protein kind of flavor. And just knowing that it contains a lot of protein makes me feel it's better for me. Next up, we're gonna try the second batch with chocolate brownie protein powder. Mm, pretty similar taste, but I must say the chocolate brownie powder, I think made it a little bit drier than the other one. But always the solution, milk. Since it's much healthier and more protein in these cookies than normal cookies, I am pretty okay to accept this little bit more dryness because I always have my milk and I still find them very delicious. So try out the recipe, let me know how you find it and I will see you in my next video.